tip of the day today we'll talk about hijackers on your listing so you might have seen that sometimes on your amazon listing other sellers come and hijack it for what does that mean so you will not have the buy box you will not be able to run your campaigns and your numbers will drastically drop down because actually you are not being shown as the seller at the time of purchase so all those people who are coming to buy on that listing are buying from the hijacker from the other seller and things that you were ideally allowed to do earlier you are not able to do it for example running campaigns and uh, getting sales so what is the remedy one of the remedies that you can try is you can try to send your product in FBA so what is the order how how Amazon decides who will get the buy box so price is one of the key factors but if your product is in FBA it overrides usually and you get the buy box because of Amazon uh, how do we say it pushes FBA sales more than MFL sales so if you if you send your product to FBA your chances of getting the buy box and not the hijacker increases now let's assume that you have not sent your product and you're not in a position to send your product to FBA centers then what you can do then you can try to either match or slightly lower the prices than your hijacker but in this case you might start incurring losses so there are trade-offs for this entire thing third option is you can you can directly talk to seller support and ask Amazon itself to act on it so that they will remove it but sometimes they do take action sometimes they don't take action sometimes it, it takes a lot of uh, time to get this thing sorted so be careful whenever you see someone else selling on your listing you should be cautious should definitely tell seller support and try to come up with solutions so that you will get the buy box it's it's very important to own the buy box i hope this will be helpful take care have high sales